Guten Tag alle, heute werden wir schon wieder über Idioma sprechen, aber bevor wir anfangen, hatte ich eine kleine Frage für euch und wollte ich euch ein bisschen Information geben über was ein Idioma ist. So, today we're going to talk about what's an idiom and then go through some more idioms. But just to be clear, an idiom is, is an expression or word or phrase that has a figurative meaning that is different from the literal meaning. And you're going to see that in these examples. So, here we go. Ich habe den Faden verloren. This means, I have lost, in English we would say, I have lost my train of thought. In German they literally say, I have lost the thread. Um, and it means basically to forget what you were going to say. Okay. Das kommt nicht in Frage. This means... Uh, we would say in English, that is out of the question. So in German, they literally say that that comes not into question, basically. It's not, it means that it's not even to be considered. Du hast den Nagel auf dem Kopf getroffen. This means, in English, we'd say you hit the nail on the head, which is exactly the way it is in German also. Um, and it means you've gotten something correct. That's exactly right. So in German, you have hit the nail on the head, and the same thing in English. A good verb to take from this is treffen. Treffen is a verb you want to watch for in German because it can mean both to hit or to meet. Andere Länder, andere Sitten. So this means, we would say something like in English, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Meaning, if you're... In other countries, you have different customs or other customs, so you adapt. And the literal German basically means different or other countries and different or other customs. Er hat das durch die Blume gesagt. In English, we would say, he said that in a roundabout way. Uh, the meaning is basically he didn't go and speak directly to the issue. He kind of talked around it. So, the literal German says he said it through the flower. Ich bin ganz ur. Ich bin ganz ohr, mein Schuld. Means, I am all ears. In English, we'd say, I'm all ears, meaning you have my full attention. Ich bin ganz ohr. Es ärgert mich, wie er dauernd ins Wort fällt. Uh, in English, we would say something like, it annoys me how he is constantly interrupting. And German, literally, it means, it annoys me how he, he is constantly falling into the word, which is an interesting picture. And it just always means to be breaking in on conversations or to break in and talking when other people are talking. Er führt nichts Gutes im Schilde. In English, we would say he's up to no good. In the German, it literally means he's carrying nothing good in his shield or behind his shield. Um, it means basically you're planning something and normally has a negative connotation. Wir sollen das unter die Lupe nehmen means we have, must examine that under the microscope. In, in German, they're using a magnifying glass, but in English, we say the microscope. So it just means that you have to look at something a little more closely. Ich traue dem Frieden nicht, which means, basically, it's too good to last. Um, whatever's going on, it's not going to remain like that. The little, literal German says, uh, is basically saying, I trust f peace not, or I don't trust peace. Ich zwinge ihn, Farbe zu bekennen. In English we'd say, I'm calling his bluff, or I'll force him to come clean. It means you're going to make him or her prove something, or take a side. Um, I'll f and in literal German, it's I'll force him to confess, or to recognize the color. Und damit werden wir stoppen.